Good evening and welcome to another episode of Health Check. Well, Helen Keller says the only thing worse than being blind is having sight and no vision. Well, this year 2020 has demanded so much of us, starting with coronavirus. And do you still see those plans that you have? Do you still see those plans that God has for you? Well, with us in studio is two eye specialists to give us a greater sight and insight into what really happens with our eyesight. Oh, I just rhymed. I'm Kerry Kagiri. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for joining us. 22232 is that text line and looking forward to hearing from you. Let me introduce our guest. We start with our ophthalmologist in studio. Hello, sir. Hello. Kari Musara Daktari. Asante sana. Introduce yourself. Let people know what you do and where you do it. Okay. Uh, my name is Dr. Emmanuel Nyenze. I'm an ophthalmologist, as you've just said. Uh, I work with the University of Nairobi as a lecturer, and I also practice uh, with the Max Vision Eye Clinic in town. Can you just explain in one second what an ophthalmologist is? Uh, an ophthalmologist is an eye doctor, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, is a doctor who has specialized in eye diseases. Mm -hmm. So you first of all have to do medicine and become a doctor. And then when you do, when you finish, you become a doctor, you go back to the university and do masters in now uh, the division of uh, eye health. Mm -hmm. And at that time is when you become an ophthalmologist. Okay. Uh, so eye health, I like that word. Mm -hmm. And with us is an optometrist. Mm -hmm. Karibu sana, Dr. Aura. Please explain to the people, what is an optometrist? And what is the difference or the similarities between what both of you do? All right. Thank you so much for the invitation. As you've been told, I'm um, Dr. Aura Chacha, an optometrist by profession. I've done optometry as a course, and um, I practice privately. First in a clinic called Exalite Eye Care. It is located in Donholm. Another facility is called Dentoptic Medicare. These we are now, I've now merged the two to offer the optical and the optometrist services. Mm. As an optometrist, our duty is to check vision, that is vision equity, mm -hmm. detect diseases, and treat by issuing, that is for refractive issue, we give glasses and contact lenses. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is a science. And a science, one has to do either a three-year course in uh, Kenya Medical Training College or a four-year course in MUST, that is Masinde Mlero. Wow. So these where now those courses are being uh, offered. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are happy. The journey has been good. That's true. Mm -hmm. What's the difference or the <coughs> similarity between what both of you do? Um, we do the same thing. We okay. take care of eyes. Okay. Uh, it's only the, that we take care of, of, of them at different uh, levels. Okay. There are so many eye diseases. I'm sure if, if uh, let's say, ophthalmologists okay. would be left to, to, to take care of all of them, they wouldn't make it. Sure. So we work as a team. Okay. Uh, the, everybody understands their uh, li limits and their uh, capabilities. So we work, because we work on the same kind of uh, profession, okay. we work together. We Absolutely. just do the same thing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. 22232 is that text line. I have two specialists. Any issues with your eyes? This gentlemen are the best and they'll be able to answer and at least give you a way for it let's you just mentioned it and so we can continue from there what are some of those eye uh, diseases eye issues that people may be having just let's just list maybe some of them mm -hmm. they are the, the first and the most common one is what we call the allergies mm -hmm. the allergy uh, the eye allergy on to conjunctiva so those are the most cases that people especially the young mm -hmm. tend to complain about then we have what you call refractive disorders. And you had mentioned that word before. I was mm -hmm. going to ask you, mm -hmm. what is refractive? Now, this uh, eye condition mm -hmm. that tend to disable a person not to see clearly. Okay. Yes, in a simpler way so that everybody can understand. Yes. It's just a disease, I mean, an eye disorder. Okay. That when you try to try to do your vision, mm -hmm. you're not able to see clearly. So someone has said, Utapata Kibao imeandikwa Hope TV. Mm -hmm. And when you get there, you, you, you're, you're seeing a hate, you're seeing, okay. Such an So in refractive errors, we have what you call myop, that mm -hmm. is short-sightedness. Then we have uh, long-sightedness, mm -hmm. that is uh, hyperbaropia. Mm -hmm. 
Then we have for the old, those people who are aging, we have what you call presbyopia. Mm -hmm. Then again, we have a special type of a refractive disorder, we call them, we call it astigmatism. Oh, yes. So these are a group of refractive disorders. Anything to do with light? Yes, light is not a disorder. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, it's just that uh, it is an accompaniment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dr. I think mm -hmm. you can help us by telling us what are some of the symptoms and signs that we'll see in some of the things that he's mentioned, like in allergies, in refractive, but even as you do that, you can add some more diseases sure, sure. that you have uh, had to deal with. Well, if we could list all the eye diseases, there are so many. Okay. We can't finish <laughs> we can't today. Finish today. But all the same, what he has said is true. The yes. commonest is allergies yes. and uh, refractive errors. Uh, we, other, we have other problems like infections. Yes. Eye infections, infections uh -huh. are many. Even mm -hmm. coronavirus is <laughs> <two> <laughs> <cause> symptoms <laughs> in the eye. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. they were told mm -hmm. not to touch our eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can very the infection through the eye. So wow. you have to be very careful with, uh, with the eyes also. Mm -hmm. uh, those are infections. We have more serious conditions like cataracts. Mm -hmm. uh, they have even, uh, which can even uh, blind somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, the others like glaucoma, mm -hmm. which can cause irreversible blindness. Sure. Wow. Uh, we also deal with injuries. Uh, injuries are also uh, common in our setting. Mm -hmm. uh, eye diseases are many. We have eye diseases so also accompanying other diseases like diabetes. Diabetes, uh, diabetes, they can get what you call diabetic retinopathy or the diabetes eye diseases. Mm -hmm. Hypertension can cause problems. Mm -hmm. exactly. they, are, they, are, they are quite a number, they are quite many. Mm -hmm. uh, we, what do they experience? Yes. What, do they, what they experience depends on the condition, of course. So let's start with the allergies. Let's say I have eye allergies. What are some of the things I'll, I'll come to complain about? And Dr. Ray will say, you need allergy, I'm going to eye drops. Yes. Very common problem actually, and many people identify with it because uh -huh. the commonest problem is uh, itchiness, redness of eyes, tearing, light sensitivity. Uh, of course, in children especially, we start noticing some of them they will not get redness, but the color of the eye changes mm -hmm. uh, becomes a little brownish and all that. Mm -hmm. They are very, the, the typical thing about allergies is uh, recurrence. Okay. They keep coming back. Okay. Because somebody uh, is reacting to something, and as long as that thing is in the environment, mm -hmm. they will have the symptoms. And when it clears or when you give them medication, then they feel better. Okay. Then after some time, it comes again. So that is a very common, uh, very common problem, and many people have a problem with it. Dr. Ora, you also mentioned astigmatism. Sure. What is that word? I had it once when I was doing, so I was getting my CT done, and mm -hmm. they said, Mm. Ah, her left eye has astigmatism. Mm, sure. And I'm like, I'm awake, I can hear you. <laughs> anyway, uh -huh. Now, astigmatism is a special type of uh, refractive error whereby the focal lens tends to be blurish. Mm. So you find that um, being a person with a seeing problem, there's what we call the focal points on the eyes. Now, these ones tend to go and along, it is along a certain axis. Mm -hmm. These were the point that tends to make the eye be, I mean, have an, uh, a refractive error. It's mm -hmm. not that the, it's the entire eyeball. Mm -hmm. No, there's just a point on that eye that causes a defect. So no wonder when you try to see, everything becomes blurish. Mm -hmm. Yet it is just a one point on that eye that is weak. Is it like a cracked <coughs> glass? You know, I want everyone to kind of just really understand. Is it maybe... You know, like the, on this glass, there's uh -huh. like an angle, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and when you look at the certain angle, it'll be blurry, but there's a part when it's... Exactly. Okay. Uh, just on, on a layman way, the way you've just explained that mm -hmm. on the glass, eh? mm -hmm. but now on the eye, <coughs> you see the eyeball, I'm at the corneal. Mm -hmm. See, the, 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 this problem starts either on the corneal, going to the crystalline lens. Mm -hmm. So you find, if the crystalline lens is okay, but the corneal has an issue at a certain point, it will tend to stretch some letters. Okay. By stretching those letters, it makes that vision unclear. Okay. Yes. Now you find now, I mean, it is not that, uh, you find that most majority of the patient that comes, if not taken keenly uh, in terms of refraction, you find majority of the doctors tend to miss it. Okay. And it is very sensitive. If you tend to miss it, it can cause what you call migraines. You see? Mm. So the eyes tend to turn red, teary, mm -hmm. 
And then if, when if you one has been given, they have been prescribed those glasses, mm -hmm. you find this person tends to have what you call uh, red eyes. Mm -hmm. Because there is a particular prescription, ama addictive, that hasn't been put on those okay. glasses. Okay. Yes. Wow. We're going deep. Let's talk about these two things I've heard about them. And you mentioned glaucoma and... Uh, cataract. 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 Mm -hmm. Those two. <laughs> <laughs> They're always mm. like... Mm -hmm. what, what are those and what are some of those signs that someone can get to know that they have either? Uh, let's start with cataracts. Mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned, you remember you was mentioning something called a crystalline lens. Mm -hmm. the, there's a lens inside the eye, the natural lens okay. that God gave you. Mm -hmm. It helps to focus, the light to focus on the, on the retina, as in to get the image in the right place okay. so that somebody can see. Mm -hmm. uh, that lens, of course, is supposed to be clear. Mm -hmm. sure. If you have... Uh, uh, opaqueness mm -hmm. on the lens, if you have an opacity in the lens, yes. then the light will not pass. Through. That's true. So a cataract is an opacity in the lens, and the lens is deep inside the eye. Oh my. So in most mm. cases, if you are looking at somebody, you uh -huh. wouldn't even know uh, that they're having a problem. But they can't see with that eye. But as when we look, we can see the lens very well. Uh -huh. And we can see the opacity in the lens. Wow. So that is what is called a cataract. Mm -hmm. cataract. That is the commonest cause of blindness in uh, developing countries. Mm -hmm. The good thing with the cataract is that it is irreversible. It can be, and the reversing is removing that cataract and putting an artificial lens, what is wow. called an intraocular lens. Okay. That is what is called a cataract surgery. So when guys go for cataract surgery, they get something... Yes, oh, yes, wow. yes, yes. Okay. A new lens is put <laughs> okay. inside. Okay. And then it is replaced. The old lens is replaced and an artificial lens, uh -huh. which helps to focus and everything. And uh, it works just as good mm -hmm. as the natural lens. Okay. So there is a lot of advancement in terms of cataract surgery mm -hmm. in such that it has become a very safe surgery mm -hmm. and the outcome has become excellent. Okay. So nobody should go blind because mm -hmm. they have a, a cataract. cataract. Because that is a treatable condition. Yes. And uh, many doctors can do can the do cataract it. surgery and, uh, and, and, and do it. Before then, you go to uh, glaucoma, mm -hmm. can you just explain to someone? So what happens is they are seeing, mm -hmm. they, they can see, they're not blind, mm -hmm. but they don't see clearly. Well, uh, it, it depends. You see, cataract, it's, it's a progressive disease. Okay. So uh, the blurring of vision just starts uh, such that you, when you look at something, it looks a little blurred. But that progresses over time. Mm -hmm. And it can progress in such a way that the eye is blind. Oh you my. cannot see. Oh you my. cannot see. Okay. But even then, in most cases, even if the eye gets blind, when mm -hmm. you remove that lens and put a new lens, mm -hmm. then the person is able to see. Okay. So it's a, it's, it's a very uh, exciting condition to, to manage. Because Glaucoma. we have seen people who have cataract both eyes. They can't even walk mm -hmm. because they can't see. And then you, you do see. surgery and they're able to see. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> glaucoma is is the complicated one. Mm -hmm. uh, some people one. call it the the, the, the thief of sight because thief it is of sight. Uh, it is still thief. somebody's vision without noticing. And the bad thing about glaucoma is that it is not reversible. Whatever you lose with glaucoma is gone. And that's where we were actually going. Thanks mm -hmm. for highlighting that. We were going to mm. what is curable. So, Doctor, <laughs> yeah, prepare yeah. this. <laughs> what is curable and what that is, is not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure. Uh -huh. So, the, the the problem with glaucoma is that it it, it disappear. It it you, somebody loses vision uh, slowly by slowly mm -hmm. without them noticing that they have lost uh, vision, mm -hmm. and they don't lose the direct vision first. Mm -hmm. They lose the, the peripheral, peripheral vision. Can you explain that? Uh, the direct vision is when I'm looking at you directly, the, I can see you with the direct vision. Mm -hmm. But I'm able to notice this thing here. Yeah? I'm able to notice Yes, that's the, true. So that's peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. There is a direct vision and there is peripheral vision. Mm -hmm. So when the glaucoma comes, the vision comes from the side, come into the center. So somebody can have very advanced glaucoma and they are seeing very well because they are looking through the center. But they can't but, see... But they can't see the sides. The sides. It's only when it... Uh, reaches the center is when they yeah, notice they are not see. able to see. Wow. So they can have an ongoing problem mm. without know, them knowing that there is a problem going. That's why he's saying it's wow. a thief that steals vision. Most cases or most patients that we discover uh, they have glaucoma is they come with one eye is lost. Mm -hmm. They notice one day they close one eye and they can't see. And then they come for treatment for that eye that can't see. And you tell them, no, this one looks too advanced. We might not be able to treat it. But it is there in the other eye. So we start treating the other eye 
because most of the times it is affects both eyes. Wow, yeah. totally. And another thing that we need to also understand about this glaucoma. Sure. Yes, you find it even if it is that silent, there's those underlying causes. Yeah, you can please share that with us. Now you find uh, there are so many underlying causes that uh, Nini brings about glaucoma. Mm -hmm. And glaucoma is more of uh, the intraocular pressure being raised. Okay. It's when they, you see, when you have pressure, the normal body pressure, mm -hmm. when it is high, mm -hmm. you have you become risk of getting other things. That's true. The same with eye. Mm -hmm. Now the eye has pressure. They have they have liquid inside, mm -hmm. be it aqueous humor and vitreous mm -hmm. humor. Mm -hmm. So you find when these two things are the they, they, they doesn't go or come in, mm -hmm. they cause pressure inside, and after doing all that that eye will go. Oh, no. So you find there are patients who have diabetes. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you see we have those retinopathies. Mm -hmm. They cause. And a retinopathy, any person who has a retinopathy, be it uh, diabetic, be it hypertensive, those are people who have uh, blood pressure, high blood pressure, okay. the normal body pressure. Okay. Or diabetes, the normal body sugars, you see. Diabetes. So you find if this person's uh, sugar is not controlled, it will automatically affect the eye. Mm -hmm. So you find, <coughs> and again, that is number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, there is what you call optic disc. As long as that nerve isn't functioning well, all right, it will cause a side effect on the IOP. Mm -hmm. And by doing so, it will cause glaucoma. Mm -hmm. And automatically, that I will. So the best is to diagnose that uh, the, the condition as early as possible. Mm -hmm. For people who have diabetes, mm -hmm. for people who have hypertensive, they ought or they need to check their pressure every time, frequently. Wow. This one, it reduces, I might minimize mm -hmm. chances of having glaucoma. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by that, uh, I know Dr. here has met so many patients with mm -hmm. the same, even me have met so many patients with the same condition. You find when you ask this patient, have you checked your pressure? No. If you check, if you do what we call fundoscopy, you find this some miss. How often uh, should one check their eye pressure? As many as possible. Okay. You see, eye, eye is different to the normal body pressure. Mm -hmm. So you find for the eye, the frequency depends on whatever you're feeling. Okay. That is what I advise okay. my patient. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling something funny, being put on a slit lamp and checked, uh, that is normal checkup, mm -hmm. it won't cost you. It will cost you normal consultation fee. Yeah. So you rather have the doctor do like everything. Let them check the anterior part, yeah. the posterior part, mm -hmm. and the pressure. Mm -hmm. By that, he'll have now made sure that your eye is good. If you just joined us, Karibu Sana, we're talking about a topic that's very close to me. It is the eye health, general eye health. Are you suffering from any of the things that we've talked about? And right now, let's go back to you, Dr. Nyenzi. And we're talking about what are some of the things that are curable? What are some of the things that we can manage? Because I don't believe, okay, you can say they're not curable, but can we manage some of these uh, things that we've spoken about this evening? Uh, the... They say, we say uh, prevention is better than cure. True. So before we manage, we need to prevent. Okay. So all these conditions are either, most of these eye conditions are either preventable, like mm -hmm. the blinding conditions, are mm -hmm. either preventable or treatable. Mm -hmm. uh, now, now we're dealing with the, with the blinding conditions. Yes. Mm -hmm. The, the condition, the blinding condition like uh, glaucoma that we are talking about, mm -hmm. where the, in, there is an increase in the intraocular pressure and then the nerves gets damaged and somebody loses vision. Mm -hmm. Because in glaucoma that is what happens. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, the eighth stage of the problem is the damage of the nerve. Mm -hmm. If uh, somebody goes for an, a checkup, uh, we always insist the doctor or the optometrist to look into the nerve and see whether there are any signs of damage. Sure. Okay. So just a normal checkup should not end without the nerve being looked at. Mm -hmm. And just a look at the nerve can tell whether somebody is suspected. We call them glaucoma Sus suspects. Mm -hmm. He's suspected to have this condition. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it can be treated. So it doesn't have to end to that level. So this, that's what it brings about the issue about uh, eye checkup. Mm -hmm. 
glaucoma again, uh, a condition like glaucoma affects mainly people in the older age groups, uh, 40 and above. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is 40 and above, they should make sure that at least every year mm -hmm. they have had a eye check. Okay. And they'll be forced to do that because mm -hmm. after 40 years, people also have another problem we talked about called presbyopia. Yeah. Yeah. They will not be yeah. able to, to, read to read very well. Yeah. They will have to read like this. Yeah. 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 Okay. So this is like a wake-up call in most cases <laughs> so right. for you to start checking right now. the pressures mm -hmm. as you check your vision. Okay. Yeah. So let's, every year. Yeah. Let's talk <coughs> about some of the symptoms for this, all these eye diseases you've talked about. Because mm -hmm. that at least you've shed light on them, what they look like. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are some of the symptoms? And please collaborate on Nicholas. this one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you find, let me say, cataract. Mm -hmm. Cataract is kind of obvious. Mm -hmm. Today you are able to see. Mm -hmm. Then sometime when you wake up, when you go to light, you find the thing is so bright, mm -hmm. right? If you close one eye, you find the one eye is very bright. Mm -hmm. Meaning, there is some opacity, a clear, a transparent, mm -hmm. I mean, a translucent. Translucent, okay. Yes, opacity. Mm -hmm. That one is not mature. So that is a first thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing that one need, needs to know that um, one has cataract is the, the duration of the vision. Mm -hmm. You find this person was able to see well, right? Then, Little you find that the vision tend to deteriorate. Mm. That person has to be to be checked. Mm -hmm. Another thing about uh, let me say glaucoma, the whatever uh, the same way Dr. Uh, has said, when you realize your vision, especially the peripheral vision, is becoming blurish. Mm -hmm. When you try to move this side, you're not able to see, right? But the central, we call it the tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. With the tunnel vision is like you use a pipe yeah. and you're able to see. Mm -hmm. But when you try to gaze on the sideways, either the outer mm -hmm. and the inner, you, mm -hmm. able, you are not able to see. That is one sign of it. And remember, something like glaucoma, it doesn't have pain. Mm -hmm. So at no point will you feel pain. Okay. The same with the cataract. No pain at all. So it is silent, mm -hmm. as it's called, mm -hmm. silent. But something like cataract, it will be reversed. Okay. Now, if we come to refractive errors, mm -hmm. there's what we call migraines. Those are headache in a layman way. You find this person has a severe headache. Mm -hmm. Then another thing that one will note is one not able to see, mm -hmm. be it distance or near. For people with myope, you see, people with myope, I mean, or short-sighted, they won't see things at a distance, yeah. six meters, mm -hmm. right? Then those people who have long-sightedness they'll see but when you try to bring things closer it becomes an issue mm -hmm. then you have the aged now that is uh, we call the conditions called presbyopia yes you find this person when it comes to reading as we said he'll have to take uh, mm -hmm. a hamstring away what's the difference between um just so you to understand mm -hmm. the long-sightedness and presbyopia now the long-sightedness is you're able to see far okay well, okay. you're able to see far. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to a closer thing, yes. it becomes an issue, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But you'll be able to read, okay. all right? Okay. So it's just a it's just matter of now, we call them accommodation, yes. all right? The ability of you to accommodate with presbyopia is better than the, those who are presbyopia. And presbyopia comes with the edge. Okay. But this other one, Anyone can have it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You can add on. Yeah. That. Uh, just more on the hyperopia. Sure. It's 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 a very it's it's very comp a little bit complicated more than myopia mm -hmm. because uh, in myopia or short sightedness it is very easy to tell that somebody is not seen far very well mm -hmm. but in my hypermetropia or hyperopia mm -hmm. they might be able to see well far they can see far distance very well mm -hmm. and they are able to read right. but they use too much energy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to do things which are near mm -hmm. so sometimes they are easily picked especially children mm -hmm. and, and and they present with other things that you might not because they will, might not complain that i can't see mm -hmm. but they may complain that i have a headache constant mm -hmm. headache Tenuous. so unless and when you put them on the tests for the vision they're able to see far they're able to read until we do other tests, which uh, we call retinoscopy and others, mm -hmm. which pick 
that hypermetropia. Okay. So it's it's a very complicated one. Mm -hmm. And it's also related to presbyopia, now the one for older people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because people who have hyper, hyperopia will get a, a presbyopia earlier. Wow. Because it yes. will be difficult yes. to... They always had a difficulty reading. They're using a lot of energy. Uh -huh. And because we see presbyopia at 40s, then they might start experiencing it in 30s. Wow. True. Yeah. True. Wow. Today it's all about your eye health. When we come back, we'll be talking much more about this. Also, how can we care for it? How can we care about our eyes? But also, what are some of the other diseases that we have around us that affect our eyesight? As said... As often as you can, get your eye pressure checked, especially sure. if you have all these other disorders. Sure. And when we come back, we're going to be answering all of your questions on 22232. And we'll also open up our call line for you to call live in studio and get consultation. Nimewalipia consultation. So <laughs> be sure to take advantage of our optometrist, Dr. Ola Chacha. Yes, sure. And our ophthalmologist, Dr. Emmanuel Nienzi. Yes. yes, thank you so much. My name is Kerry Kagiri. This is Health Check. It's only on Hope TV where you look and live. We'll be right back after this short break. What comes to your mind when you think of the perfect home for your family? Is it the beauty, the comfort, the security, the convenience, or even the affordability? Victory Gardens offers exactly that and much more. It is just 10 minutes drive from Kitengela town and 3.8 kilometers off the tarmac. This gated community project comes with solar street lighting, maram roads, beautiful trees, 24-hour security, and water connected to every plot. The best part is families are already living here. Call us today on 0702-831083 or visit www.optiven.co.ke. Yes, I have come to testify. I will stand up before the congregation and testify of the wonderful things you have done. I was on my knees. And that day, that is one thing that amazed me. For sure, God never lies. Thank God, because it's only God's blessings that are added no sorrow. Mimi, no dhambi. On Testify, we bring to you real encounters with Christ, breathtaking experiences, and life-transforming testimonies. We testify. Nikamwabia mungu, kubuka nimekua katika jia zako. Kama kuna wakati, wakuniokoa ni huu. Niheri ni uwawe, ni zikwe na hawa hawa tuje zaliwa na wawo. Wawo na juwa waluya. My husband did everything for me. For four years, I used to cry and pray to God because... Pauru kiwa na mungu. Join me this and every Thursday at 8 p.m. on the program where our faith in Christ keeps growing. Right here at Hope TV where you look and live. Since late last year, the coronavirus COVID-19 has emerged as a serious healthcare threat. This is an infection that has gone global and no one has been spared. The government, through the Ministry of Health, has put in measures to keep Kenyans safe against COVID-19, which is currently rampant around the world, with new confirmed infections and death cases daily. Such sanitization and screening of visitors at this border post and across every entry point in the country is very vital in preventing the spread of the disease in the country. I'm very happy about the screenings that are going on in Tanzania and Kenya. I think it's very proactive that you're thinking about stopping it at the border so that it, that it does not spread. It is scary that a single cough here can lead to an outbreak of epic proportions. In order to prevent that, the government has instituted measures to keep Kenyans safe. The facility has all the equipment you need from uh, handling a basic patient up to ICU setting. However, you also have a role to play in preventing spread of infections. Citizen responsibility is the key to the success of this 
initiative and these measures, let's all do what we have to do individually. And this is how we are going to defeat this disease. It's just our general hygiene, okay? And that now means at workplaces, we should ensure that our work surfaces are clean. Well, let's ensure that we have proper sanitation in Mikono. Every time we board Matatu, Lazma ni sanitize Mikono. We have faced many severe challenges as a nation, and we have always found a way to rise above them. COVID-19 is no different, and we'll overcome the pandemic. Stop coronavirus. Follow all directives from the Ministry of Health. Wash your hands properly. Welcome back. Today on Health Check, we're talking all matters eye health. With us in studio is two great gentlemen, one optometrist. Oh my gosh. This one, I just discovered it when we were researching for this episode. Uh, optometrist. Sure. Yes, his name is Dr. Ora Chacha. And also we do have an ophthalmologist in studio who is Dr. Emmanuel Nienze. And even as we, be, as we went for the break, we spoke about so many... Um, of the things that affect us but we didn't talk about this special group of people who is our children even as we proceed triple two three two is our text like thank you for your questions i'm going to we are going to start ans answering them just now so let's talk about our children what are some of the eye uh, health issues that they go through thank you thank you very much for that question yes sir. one thing about children is that they are not uh, in medicine and even more so in uh, ophthalmology, we don't treat them as uh, small adults. Mm -hmm. They have their own special conditions which should be treated uh, specially. Mm -hmm. One special thing about children is that they, their sight develops according to how much they can see. Mm -hmm. So if a child has a blurring of vision and that's not taken care of, they will continue to have blurring of vision forever. Oh. And once you try to deal with it later, then you'll not be able to reverse it. Oh. It can only be reversed when they are young. Wow. Once they are 10 years and beyond, then you cannot. So if a child is complaining about poor vision, or you have noticed that it's like they are not seeing very well, mm -hmm. they have to move closer to the t television mm -hmm. in most times. Or the teacher said that they have noticed that uh, children might be squinting mm -hmm. too much to look at the things in the blackboard. Mm -hmm. uh, then they might be having an eye problem, and it's important to check. Because if you miss the 10 year, uh, years window, then you have missed it for forever. So children have uh, that kind of special. Children are also affected a lot by allergies that we had talked before. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they get a lot of itchiness, tearing, uh, light sensitivity, and all that. Uh, one thing about um, this kind of problem is most people, because they are chronic and they are recurrent, mm -hmm. people, many parents tend to ignore a problem like allergy. Mm -hmm. And then the child can itch and rub the eyes over years. Mm -hmm. That has been found to create another problem called keratoconus. Mm -hmm. The keratoconus is the front part of the eye, the, the one that looks black part of the eye when you look at somebody. It is actually a clear lens. It is called the cornea. Mm -hmm. It protrudes a little bit. And once it protrudes even a few, just a little bit, the power of the eye changes dramatically. Wow. And the lens, if they are wearing glasses, they drop dramatically and they become too high. So that is something that if, especially for children with allergies and they're rubbing the eyes too much, you, you, most people get tired. They say, oh, I've been using this drop and I use another one and I use another one and nothing is working. Mm. You should, uh, we always encourage parents, they should always insist on still going to hospital for treatment yes. so that they can prevent that kind of condition. Mm -hmm. And they sometimes, and the most importantly, is if they develop it, it is picked early. Mm -hmm. Because if it is picked early, then it can, the progress can be stopped by new procedures that come up. They can be given, given the correct uh, treatment yeah. in, in, in those conditions like keratoconus. They can be given glasses or contact lenses. Uh, then they can see very well. Wow. So the eye problems in children should never be ignored. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so true. Even as we continue, 
our hygiene sure. can greatly affect our health, especially sure. in this season. Sure. I think you'll see less patients with some of the disorders. What are some of the things that hygiene uh, makes us experience with eyesight? Good, thank you. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. So now you find there's this condition we call trachoma. Mm -hmm. Trachoma mostly comes with poor hygiene. Mm -hmm. And it's being caused by some fleas. So these fleas, they go, maybe they've taken some, uh, they've stepped on feces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they come, stick on your eyes. Oh my. So you find there's some virus that are being transmitted mm -hmm. onto the eye. Mm -hmm. And this virus is so bad to an extent, when it gets into your eyes, it tend to affect the eye from the anterior, mm -hmm. especially the anterior part, mm -hmm. from the eyelid, mm -hmm. the conjunctiva. So you find that eye become, has a very high viral load mm -hmm. that you find there is what you call the scarring of the eyelid. There is that um, muco, nini, muco, muco discharge. And if the eye is supposed to be self-cleaning, I mm -hmm. mean through tears mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. through... No, you find, now you see when the eye is affected in mm -hmm. that state, there's no enough lacrimal, I mean, tears being produced. Mm -hmm. So you find if this thing happens, that moisture is eaten off by that virus. Mm. So you find the eye has dry, it dries it up. Mm -hmm. So by drying it up, you find the, now it makes the virus to, 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 to multiply. Mm -hmm. From there, you find that uh, this patient, especially the kids, you see, it Picks especially, I mean, you find that uh, when you categorize trachoma and glaucoma, the two, especially in the developing countries, yes. it is on a high mm -hmm. rate. So you find the best is to seek medication. Mm -hmm. And before seeking medication, your hygiene has to be of a high notch. Okay. But again, now we, we are having water issue. They, even if you're trying to to, 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 to treat it, mm -hmm. you find, especially the northern part of the country, yes. there's lack of water. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is crazy. Yeah. There's, these are the diarrhea thing. Mm -hmm. You find now this patient is predisposed to many, so many other uh, issues. Mm. And by this, it will affect the person's eye vision. Wow. So you find like, uh, let me say like the, 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 the cornel, mm -hmm. because this is where now the trachoma tend to attack. Yes. So you find we have what you call keratitis, caused by either hap simplex or complex. Those are virus. Mm -hmm. right? So when such a thing happens, mm. you find now this patient, the cornel become hazy. Okay. See, and there's those muco production, the thick ones, mm -hmm. call them the muco discharge. Yes. There will be in plenty. And uh, even reversing that eye, if not taken care of, it goes to blindness, pure blindness. So we prefer the children or whoever is affected to have a quick medication yes. just to reverse okay. any damage that the virus will have. Cost. Dr. Terry, already mm -hmm. the calls are coming in. I mean, this is a conversation that affects every single person. Let's pick one call mm -hmm. uh, from David in Raqqa. And our number is right below the screen, so you can also call in. David, good evening. Good evening, madam. How, How are you? you? I'm fine, thank you, sir. What is your question this evening? Uh, my question, my <laughs> boy was in Form 2. Mm -hmm. At Marcena, then he developed the same problem, whereby uh, he got uh, something like a wound. Eye. A wound in his eye? Yes. Uh -huh. Then I, I brought him to Lyon. Mm -hmm. Then he got some uh, uh, some medication. Mm -hmm. Then th that thing had disappeared. But later, after doing last, the last year, he doing from four, mm -hmm. uh, that, that issue occurred again. Wow. Doctor, do you have any question you want to ask him so that you get more facts? So you're oh. saying the same problem recurred again after some time? Exactly, he recurred last year uh -huh. when he was doing a form for exam. Okay, okay, yes, I understand. Okay, we'll yeah. be responding to that uh, question, Paul Esana, and we hope we can get you an answer or a remedy. Also, I was just, uh, because I, I've seen Dr. Chacha there, mm -hmm. if he can uh, direct me where I can take my boy, mm. So to be to be checked again mm. and the, the, the issue to be resolved. Okay.
because it's the processing uh, directly to something like allies. Okay. Okay. Asante sana for that question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we can see how to help that out. Even as, as, as Dr. Chacha, you refer him to our phenologist. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, David, I'll refer him. <laughs> After checking, you'll refer him to Dr. <laughs> Tabadali, yeah. let's, let's talk about that. Um, even as we do that, one is asking, how is eye pressure checked? Thanks for the insight. Mm, good. Now, the first thing about eye pressure, it's in our terms, we call it intraocular pressure, mm -hmm. the eye pressure. There's a machine or a gadget, we, we call it a tonometer. Mm -hmm. That is the one that we use to check the eye pressure. Pressure. Is that thing? I think there's one. Is that thing that that's. No. Oh, that's which one? There's one they put like this and then. Ah, uh, the, the digital one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have yeah, there, the are many, there are many. There are types so of many types of okay. to, to take many. pressures. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there are many. There are some where you, something just comes and you, Touch. it really touches the eye yeah. inside. Mm. Uh -huh. But many people are not comfortable with There are newer ones that have come, yeah, which like the ones, ones you are describing now. Okay. Which are a bit more comfortable, especially for screening purposes. Uh -huh. People don't. You, when you're screening, you, you, you don't have to do something more invasive. Yes. But if the pressure looks like it's a bit high, uh -huh. then you have to go and do to the, another one called a planation tonometer, sure, sure. where there is a, something which has to really go inside the eye and take the real pressure nicely. So there are various ways. So it's yeah. not necessarily yeah. invasive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I can we pick, sorry, uh -huh. just hold the thought. Mm -hmm. Can we pick Susan from Kikuyu? Sure, sure. Susan, good evening. Evening. Thank you for calling. Thanks. What is the question? The question is, uh, my nephew ha has a birth defect since birth with his vision, mm -hmm. and he was told he has an inverted cornea. Mm -hmm. Will that resolve over time, or does he need surgery? He's turning 18. He's turning 18. Yes. Wow. I think our doctor's getting an inverted cornea. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Let's uh, respond to that. Even as we respond to that, sorry, you were saying something. Thank yeah. you, Susan. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, when it comes to the IOP, mm -hmm. right, uh, it's good to have it done in a, in a professional way. You see, there are people who will tell you just sleep there, they do the, the planation mm -hmm. thing. Huh? So you find if not done in the correct manner, yeah. you'll get the correct, uh, you'll get the wrong result. Okay. So preferably get person, you know that, yes, this is an eye doctor, okay. preferably an ophthalmologist mm. or an optometrist. That's great. More questions coming in as you answer that one, Dr. Tari. Mm -hmm. One is asking, my friend's mom had cataracts and was treated by doctors from the U.S. using eye drops. Cataracts dissolved. Her eyesight recovered without surgery. Comments? Do I just comment on this one? Yes. First of all, the questions. All of them. Uh, <laughs> <two. I think laughs> yeah. there, there are many coming. Eh? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Well, uh, uh, somebody asked about uh, the wound on the cornea, yes. and uh, he said that the, the the wound keeps recurring. Mm -hmm. That to me, it will be it's difficult to make a diagnosis without seeing a patient. Mm -hmm. But we have a condition that does that. Mm -hmm. It is called the apis uh, simplex infection, mm -hmm. which keeps recurring. Mm -hmm. And uh, if the good thing is he goes to a good hospital. If, 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 he, if he goes to, if he's not taken the proper treatment when it recurs, mm. then it, somebody can land into the wrong medication, especially when you buy medication over the counter. Mm -hmm. And that is a potentially damaging condition if it's treated badly. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can't say much. This is what I'm thinking it is, but I would have to see the patient or a doctor to see the patient to, to determine whether that, it, whether that is a condition. But the, the, the wound of the cornea which keeps recurring, it is most likely herpes infection. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the other question was about um, inverted, inverted cornea. Well, uh, that one I, I have not, I don't know about an inverted cornea. Mm -hmm. Maybe most likely they didn't get the right term for it. Okay. Because the cornea is the front part of the eye. It is, it is, it is, it is, the, it is the front part of the eye, mm -hmm. so it, I don't understand how it can be inverted. Yeah. Maybe they didn't get the proper term, yeah. but again, they need to be seen by a specialist to be given, unless there's another <laughs> condition that is called inverted cornea. No, my, my thought, my thinking is, maybe she was referring to keratoconus? 
maybe maybe, maybe. so they yeah. wanted maybe to do what you call uh, grafting mm -hmm. kind of but uh, the best thing is to allow us to confirm yes if mm -hmm. it is true whatever we see because in what it call now and it's now 18 yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. maybe maybe it's eight that, sorry it is he, she's turning eight or uh, something 18? yeah her eight is a young eight. girl i think so. eight. no class eight i think they, she said maybe okay. to class eight please text yeah. us on two zero nine three three uh, on triple two three two that's the text i put tv triple two three two uh, give us those details one more time and we'll be able to continue to respond to that okay. for this one that the cataract, cataract dissolved yeah. well uh, l let me tell you for a fact that even in america mm -hmm. they are doing cataract surgery for cataracts yes so uh i, I wouldn't the, the, there are some people but this is alternate medicine that mm -hmm. they're saying that cataracts can be treated like this like this but we, we have not seen that kind of uh, thing. Okay. Even in America, even themselves. You mm -hmm. know, we read the same books and read the same things. And That's we right. get a technology everywhere it in the world and it works, we get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, I would doubt whether cataracts can, can if, if they were to resolve with the drops, we would be using the same drops mm -hmm. ourselves. But even if you go to cataract to America even now, they are using, they are still doing cataract surgeries. Okay. So I wouldn't understand that unless I see the patient myself. Absolutely. More questions are coming in right here. And we had talked about this. Hello there. I just wear glasses. But when I stop to wear like one day or two days, then I wear my head pains a lot. Even the eyes in the inside. Uh, please help me. That's Alicia. And thank you so much for watching, Alicia. Mm. Alicia, it's a good question. Mm -hmm. right? Now, I mean, uh, glasses, what we need to understand about glasses is more of a rehabilitation. Mm -hmm. So it's like without, you, you go back to where you are, mm -hmm. zero. Mm -hmm. So with, when you have it, you see well. Mm -hmm. Now, the glasses are meant to assist mm -hmm. you accommodate what you couldn't do without it okay so for her case she's supposed i understand maybe her prescription is a bit high mm -hmm. to an extent why if she removed the glasses she have migraine some uh, headache mm -hmm. the eye pains and everything mm -hmm. her pres uh, prescription might be high mm -hmm. so the glasses are meant to help her um, to relax those muscles mm -hmm. so those muscles to avoid the extortion, I mean, uh, exhaustion of the muscles, the, the glasses will assist the muscle to relax. Okay. So, kindly use glasses. Mm -hmm. But again, you also have to check the prescription. If the prescription is a bit higher to the whatever is recommendation, you'll also have the same issue. Just explain what would mean the prescription being higher. I mean, um, for example, maybe this patient has maybe... Um, doctor of maybe minus one mm -hmm. right but when he or she goes for a checkup she's given either a minus 150 prescription mm -hmm. you see there's mm -hmm. an addition of minus 0 0.5 yes it's a bit high you know? okay so you find when this person yes she might for myop mm -hmm. the higher the better they tend to see well but when time to resolving those cases you find it won't be comfortable when one or she removes the glasses okay so preferably one has to get the correct prescription so okay. that even if he or she removed the glasses he still maintained the vision that's true but not that severe as she's trying to say i okay. don't know how severe it is but she shouldn't be that severe okay mm -hmm. we have a caller from nakuru games how are you good evening hello hello how are you good evening i'm fine i'm calling from nakuru yes sir what is your question yeah, then my question is, uh, you know, I have uh, an eye problem, you know, most of the time itching mm -hmm. uh, and a tearing. It, is, uh, I, it, I, it produces tearing. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask what kind of uh, treatment or uh, I should, what the, the question or what I should care of uh, concerning my eyesight. Eye. Okay, do you have any follow-up question to him? Uh, what, what is your age? Um, 40 years. Yes? 40 years. 40 years. Yes. 40 years. Oh, yes. And you get a uh, feel like there are some dusty particles inside the eye or? No dusty, no dusty. And it, it's, it's a recurrent problem. It comes on and goes. Yeah, it comes and it goes. And uh, my mother also suffers from this. You know, like uh, we were told it is allergic uh -huh. to some uh, dust particles. But uh -huh. this thing comes and goes, and sometimes it is persistent. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. We'll be responding to you. Thank you for watching. Okay. Okay. Hope TV look and live. Uh, go ahead, call in, text in your questions on triple two three two in case the line is busy. The calls are coming in. I paid for you consultation to our optometrist and ophthalmologist, so you're going to be enjoying that. Do you want to respond to that? Sure. Now, um, whatever he's trying to the, the complaint that she uh, he's trying to bring is itchy and cheery, mm -hmm. and uh, he has said that. Uh, he, he once went to the, uh, the hospital mm -hmm. and was diagnosed with allergy. Mm -hmm. But uh, to me, I'll, uh, I'll check on what we call dry eyes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for dry eyes, they have similarity. Right? Mm -hmm. So the eyes cannot hold the tears. Mm -hmm. Right? And if the eyes can't hold the tears, it makes uh, the, the eye to be dry. Mm -hmm then causes the itchiness, mm -hmm. all right? And at times it does redness, and mm -hmm. especially with that age, 40. So there's that prevalence of dryness mm -hmm. in that, uh, those that, that age. So to me, I'll prescribe um, uh, natural tears, mm -hmm. some uh, uh, tears, any artificial tears mm -hmm. that will be there just to soothe. And again, I prescribe also Wait. the <laughs> but Artificial tears? Mm -hmm. Is that like a real, it's a, like an eye drop? Yeah, it is an eye drop. Okay. It is tears just to, to supplement. Wow, interesting. Yeah, just to supplement uh, your, your tear production. Okay. Ama your, how you, the eye tend to hold the tear feeling. Okay. Yes. But uh, preferably if the patient is checked nicely, mm -hmm. before we diagnose, Ama we say that this patient has dry eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to add anything? Uh, no, no, not much. Mm -hmm. uh, as he said, the, the, the best thing is also for the examination to be done. Mm -hmm. In most cases, you realize that uh, eye problems are not very easy to pick without the gadgets that yeah. we use. So unless somebody comes to, goes to visit the doctor and they use those gadgets to study the eye, yes. it's difficult to make the diagnosis. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This question was asked, uh, how, uh, w what causes poor night vision on one eye? One eye. But can you pick a call first? Okay, fine. Okay. Hello? I wanted to ask. Yes. Uh, I wear glasses. Yes. And I was told that I have, I, I, I have um, dry eyes. Uh -huh. so I have to put the natural tears. But uh -huh. the question is, uh -huh. do I have to put on the natural tears every day or do I just do it when the eyes have that burning sensation. Okay, that's a good question. Yeah. Thank you for calling in. What's your name? Salome. Salome, thank you. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. We just talked about uh, <laughs> artificial <laughs> tears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the patient is there with that condition. Yes. It's a very common condition, especially with age. Mm -hmm. uh, comes with a lot of irritation, feeling like there are dust particles mm -hmm. in the eye, itchiness, and they have uh, cross uh, symptoms with allergies. So mm -hmm. sometimes you have to try to differentiate. And they are seasonal also. Okay. If it's a dry weather, it's windy, it gets worse. Mm -hmm. So if the symptoms are not there, it's usually a good time to take a break a bit if yes. you don't want to use uh, the, drop. the drops. Yeah. But immediately it comes back, then you, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. People who know how the symptoms come and when the eyes are dry, they can easily use the, the medicines when necessary. Okay. Uh, the ones who can pick. If, mm -hmm. if she has dr stayed with the dry eyes for some time, she can pick it. She can p dry eyes. The eyes can even just get dry here from this uh, AC yes. and all that. Yes. And if you know and you are predisposed, mm -hmm. you just take a break there. You put a, a small drop and mm -hmm. come back and continue with your life. What happens with uh, contact lenses? Because I've experienced that <coughs> sometimes you're wearing contacts even for less than eight hours, mm -hmm. and then you start feeling like I. It's like now you start <laughs> feeling the kuna vitu kwa macho angu. Is yeah, that yeah. what you need? Now, for contact lenses, is a very, uh, the technology when it comes to glasses and mm -hmm. eye has improved, has gone much higher. Now, we have contact lenses. And remember, contact lenses is onto the corneal exact, unlike glasses. So there's no breathing space. And remember, for this eye to be healthy, it has to be, the, the, the tear has to flow. Remember, the, the, the cornea doesn't have blood vessel at all. Yeah. So the only thing that nourishes it is... Tears. Tears. Okay. So you find for the... Now that you've put a foreign thing onto the cornea, it limits that uh, the, 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 that, uh, the, the cornea from the food that it 
it gets. So no wonder we always advise our patient that don't use uh, contact lenses for more than eight hours. Yeah. Despite it being called day and night thing. Okay. Try to limit that duration. And for this thing to work out, f to give it a moisturized environment, uh, that soothing in, uh, effect, we have to use the natural tears. Okay. And we have so many. Okay. Yes. Okay. As we continue with that, uh, please, let's continue with the calls on... Okay, Langat, thank you for calling. Good evening, Langat. Okay, fine. As we continue with your calls, let's. Uh, there's something you were talking about before I interrupted the other call. Do you remember your train of thought? Mm. I, I really interrupted you. I'm really sorry about that. But the calls are coming in back to back to back to back. One is asking, what causes short sighted disease and how can I prevent it? Yeah, we already mentioned short sightedness. And unfortunately, most cases of short sightedness are. Uh, uh, there is no, they are not attributed to any cause. They are more like genetic problems. Mm -hmm. Even though this is a new development that they have realized that too much near work mm -hmm. uh, can predispose somebody, especially in children, the way they are doing so much near work has caused a lot of, that's why nowadays so many people are wearing glasses. But most cases, I could say so, most cases are uh, genetic. Okay. They are born primed to become uh, short-sighted. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Ari, can you pick a call as you continue? Mm -hmm. Okay. Karaoke, Inyeri, good evening. Yes, good evening. Yes, how are you, sir? Thank you for watching. Uh, my name is Karaoke. Yes, what's the question? Uh, I have my son who is four years older. Kindly, can you be a bit louder? Uh, my son is uh, four years old. Yes. And uh, sometimes uh, he keeps on uh, Yes, itching. Uh, itching all mm -hmm. the time. And uh, his eyes are, uh, I think, uh, yellow, pale, to come here. Oh. Oh, what might be that problem? Okay, let's respond to that. Do you have any questions for him? or? No, that is okay, fine. thank you so much, karaoke. But even as we do that, can we finish with that short sightedness? So, most of the time, it's not it's something a, preventable. It's not something preventable. Mm -hmm. Uh, unless, you know, like the only pre preventable condition is this one we are calling keratoconus, mm -hmm. where somebody's short sightedness and astigmatism, the one you mentioned, mm -hmm. progresses too fast. Okay. Mm -hmm. But short sightedness itself cannot be, most, in most cases, is not preventable. It's mm -hmm. genetic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, hi. Mm -hmm. Genetics. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, the same with short, uh, my people, this technology. Yeah. Uh, from uh, if exposed to computers, those are radiation related. Yes. So if exposed to radi uh, those computers, laptop, um, let me say anything that tend to produce radiations, mm -hmm. that's UV, it will tend to also affect the cornel. Okay. And by it affecting the cornel, this person will develop either, okay, either if, uh, astigmatism or. Okay, mm -hmm. we remember we have this one question to answer. I think we've done that. Sarah, good evening. Hello, thank you for calling Health Check. Okay, we can. Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm okay. Sure, go ahead with your question and thank you for watching. I ask my question. Yes, please. Mm, my eyes are uh, discharging. Uh huh. Ah, uh, the white stuff. Uh huh. And uh, I've been uh, putting eye drops. Mm hmm. It's still continuous. Okay, uh, I think those are two questions. There's somebody else asked about their child who's so yes. similar itchiness, tearing. Okay, thank uh, you for that. We'll be responding to it. Okay. 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 No follow-up? Okay. Yeah. Let's go for it. Yes. So uh, there is uh, a caller who asked about uh, itchiness and tearing for their child. That again goes back to the same problem we talked about, uh, allergic conjunctivitis. Mm -hmm. They say that they are being treated many times and uh, it keeps coming. That is a uh, typical of allergies. But all the same, uh, the most important thing is still to be seen by a doctor and uh, see the symptoms as they are. This other lady has mentioned the same thing, that the eyes get red and they get discharged, whitish, 
uh, in most cases, if the discharge is whitish, again, it is most likely either dryness or allergy. Okay. So again, those are the <coughs> kind of issues that you are dealing with. Okay. Again, it's only a doctor who can differentiate between the, the two and see. So, yeah. Langat in Nakuru, good evening. Okay. Langat? Yes. Good evening. Good evening to you. Go ahead with your question, sir. Yes, can you hear that? Yeah. Colosseum something. Okay. So, I Okay. What's going on with Langat's eyes? As Dr. you prepare to answer this one. In, hi, my right eye occasionally tears when exposed to cold wind. Then it develops white eye dart during the daytime. That's Julius. And one is saying, at times, my eyes feel like I have dust. How can I clean them? With water or eye drops or medicine? Please help. Mm -hmm. Another caller, and then we'll answer those four questions together. Mm -hmm. It's crunch time. It's crunch time. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yes. Kindly reduce the volume of your TV. Sour. Alafu. Ume reduce? Yeah, ume reduce. Asante. Unaitwa nani nunapiga kutoka wapi? Na piga simu kutoka kambia moto. Ok, asanti, unaitwa nani? Mi naitwa Andrew. Andrew, swali lako tafadhali? Nauliza? Aha. Naomba daktari yanze kueleza kusu glaco ko, glaco, iyo glaco ko mama inetuka nini? Iyo glaco ko mama. Uh. Indaclinal pressure, iyo ya, ya macho tu. Ok. Mm. Alafu swali ya pili? Mhm. Mm e, mtu wa kiamuka asubu ya naona viti ya white white kwa macho, ni nini inaweza kuwa shida gani, na nidawa gani inaweza tumia? Okay, Asante. Aye. Aye. Okay. Isn't some of that just natural cleaning or natural. it's a bad thing? <laughs> no, it's, it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we call them Bisho from where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> so you find like Andrew. Uh, Doctor will, uh, will answer the glaucoma part. Eh? Yes. <coughs> Let me ask, answer this uh, Nyakiamuka. Yes. There is some discharge. Yes. This is normal. Yes. Because the eye, even if you sleep, the eye keeps on the, I mean, um, cleaning the eye. Mm -hmm. There's those discharge, mm -hmm. right? There's that drainage, be it that, so what? So it has to happen. Mm -hmm. But to make it uh, okay, we categorize it under allergy. Mm -hmm. You see, under conjunctivitis. But now this one, with or without medication, it will just clear. Okay. Yes. So it's not something that he should be worried of, mm -hmm. but let him just uh, maintain hygiene. Yes. Yes, that's the only thing that I can say. Okay. And uh, for Julius and the other guy who was asking about uh, the itchiness, all this... Having dust and mm, how can I clean, clean the eye. You see, you find all these things resolve under allergy related. Mm -hmm. So the best to avoid uh, hearsay I'll advise them to seek uh, medical attention mm -hmm. so that they can define exactly which type of allergy it is. Okay. So that they can get the best medication for that. Actually, you said seek attention, but mm -hmm. there's something we want to discuss on who sees who. Like mm -hmm. now, <laughs> when you say seek, who do I go to? Do I go to an optometrist? Mm -hmm. Do I go to an ophthalmologist? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just could you also kindly collaborate uh, clear, on this? Uh, clear. Let me say on my part. Yes. <coughs> As uh, an optometrist, I'm allowed to treat and prescribe medicine for specific disorders. Mm -hmm. And something like allergy, I'm allowed to, mm -hmm. all right? Because that doesn't require surgical. Mm -hmm. But anything relating to surgical, I'll have to refer it. Okay. Yes. Okay. And again, there's some other conditions we call, like uh, the glaucoma, mm -hmm. the retinopathies. Mm -hmm. That one, to me, I'll have to refer to the ophthalmologist so okay. that he can now take the best solution. Mm -hmm. Yes, I might know the medication, but on the scheme of pro of service, him is the best person to do it. Okay. To manage it. Sawa. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. we have like two, three questions for you, and I think you have them down. 
Yes, uh, one of them is talked about Calasian, mm -hmm. uh, which has been operated uh, before. Calasian is a small swelling on the, uh, usually appa appears on the eyelid. And uh, in some cases, actually, it can disappear by its own. Mm -hmm. It's usually, there are some glands on the eyelid. They could be infected or just blocked. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but we've seen people who get recurrent uh, Calasian. Mm -hmm. And it's very tricky because if, it, like for him, he said he was uh, done surgery in Sabatia. Mm -hmm. It becomes very tricky when it comes back and then you offer the surgery again. And mm -hmm. another one comes back and you offer the surgery mm -hmm. again. Well, again, this, when, then that, that's where you, as doctors we come in and try to see what is this predisposing factor. Yes. Uh, are there, is there an infection inside these glands that mm -hmm. needs to be treated? Mm -hmm. uh, and there are some antibiotics we give in those cases and to see to whether we can stop. On the other problem, again, we talked about hygiene. There is some process, some procedure in lead hygiene, which we do specifically for these people. Mm -hmm. And also, the, I'm sure it must have been advised, anytime we notice a small collision coming in, it's supposed to do what you call warm compresses. Yes. Take a, something, a, a warm face towel, and uh, compress that swelling before it becomes too much. Mm -hmm. Uh, so in that case, then it will uh, prevent uh, a, a recurrence. Uh, the other problems I think you have uh, dealt with, the feeling of dust particles. There's one who wanted glaucoma. to know about glaucoma. Yes, glaucoma, we have already mentioned about it. Uh, causing most of the time, most of the patients with glaucoma, they get eye pressures in the eye. Mm -hmm. And uh, that eventually causes a damage to the nerve. And when that causes a damage to the nerve, that cannot be reversed. Mm -hmm. So, and we say the most important thing about glaucoma is uh, prevention, screening. Uh, and uh, that most healthcare, eye care providers, they know about it. Everybody yes. who comes to their clinic, even without telling them, we look whether there are signs of glaucoma. Mm -hmm. So, and, um, and, 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 and that, makes, that, that means that somebody has to be going for checkups for them to be noted early. Mm -hmm. Because if it is noted early, it is a treatable uh, condition and the pre uh, blindness can be prevented. Okay. Yeah, so there's a treatment, there are so many ways of treating uh, glaucoma uh, and they work, but only if it is caught early. Okay. That is the only thing about it. Okay, mm. triple two three two right now, go ahead and ask your question. There we're pausing on the calls because we have to talk about how other health conditions around us sure. affect our eyes. Can we just delve into that? Mm -hmm. But I want to welcome your questions on 22232 and we'll be back with the calls after we finish this discussion. Okay. Let's go for it. What are the, the health issues that uh, we have? And even as you do that, Datari, can I just say, Wycliffe Aroko, thank you for watching from Nyahururu. Alice Alicia says, thank you for answering my question. Daktari, um, MC Kangesh, also watching live from Kilifi. Thank you very much. Another question here, I will ask it shortly by Joski Shams, but someone else is saying, Beatrice Nzube, whose friend is that? She said, good to see you, Doc. So she's one of your friends. <laughs> I've seen someone who has smiled. Okay, <laughs> fine. Let's continue. <laughs> well, uh, yes, we say that the eye is the window to the body. Wow. Uh, for us, ophthalmology, we say that because... Uh, I can look into the eye and make a diagnosis that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm looking into your body. Mm -hmm. your body yeah. And uh, in that case, it means that there are so many ways, there are so many conditions or health conditions Absolutely. that we can pick even from an eye exam. Mm -hmm. Or on the other hand, saying that there are so many diseases that uh, have manifestations in the eye. Uh, the most uh, common one, and that one, we, if, we, if, we, if, we, if we don't talk about it, we'll have done a disservice to yes. this session, is the diabetes. Yes. Diabetes um, can cause uh, what we call diabetic retinopathy, mm -hmm. or can affect the retina of the eye uh, later in life, especially if it is not well controlled. So diabetics are, are advised to be checking, to be doing their eye checkups uh, routinely. Yes. They, initially, they can do yearly, but if a doctor notices a problem, then it can be done. This is because uh, advanced, when this diabetes starts affecting the eye and it is picked, the diabetic retinopathy and it is picked, then, um, then the, uh, the blindness can be prevented. Mm -hmm. There is treatment to that. Mm -hmm. I just like glaucoma, when it is advanced, the diabetic retinopathy is advanced, then it cannot be reversed. 
uh, currently as we speak, because uh, surgery, the biggest cause of blindness used to be cataract. In many countries, that is coming down. Mm -hmm. And then now the biggest cause of, of blindness is becoming problems like diabetic retinopathy and cataract. Yes. So this is something that should be taken so seriously with the diabetic. Mm -hmm. If somebody is a diabetic, they should make sure that they have an ophthalmologist who sees them okay. and screens them for diabetic retinopathy. Absolutely. Mm. Um, let me add something. Sure. Uh, the same, we have uh, other immune-related conditions that tend to affect the eyes. Mm -hmm. So you find uh, that um, lupus, lupus, you know lupus, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you find such a condition, if when the body's immune is weak, mm -hmm. automatically, you know, it goes with the nerves. Mm -hmm. And the main function, um, the brain function of that eye, the entire eye, is what we call the optic nerve. Okay. It actually send all the information, whatever has been captured, to the brain. Mm -hmm. So you find if somebody's immune is a bit uh, poor, mm -hmm. automatically it goes and affect the eyes. Wow. Yes. No wonder you find people with strokes, okay. um, these other disorders, maybe mm -hmm. cancer related, mm -hmm. and it goes and affect the nerves the nerve endings, mm -hmm. you find the optic nerve will be affected. And automatically when the optic nerve is affected, that eye's vision, uh, where the visual uh, system, uh, will still be affected. Okay. Yeah. So preferably, there is where now we need people like neurologists. Yes. To be also part of it. Yeah. yeah. So that they keep checking this person, all the system are okay. And again, if you realize that you're having any other symptoms that might interfere, with your visual uh, system, better go have your eyes checked. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We are welcoming your calls right now, even as we plan to wrap up this episode of Health Check. Today's conversation on your eye health. Our ophthalmologist in studio is Dr. Emmanuel Nyenze and our optometrist. Yes, his name <laughs> is Dr. Ora Chacha, sure, Asante sure. Sana. Joski Chams asked a question, and I think we had answered it. She said, I'm a short-sighted person. This sure. is on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And if you're watching us on Facebook, share this video. Mm -hmm. She says, I'm a short-sighted person. I use spectacles, but sometimes when I don't use them, I always experience headaches, and sometimes it's cold. When it's cold, I usually have itching eyes. Am I supposed to get worried? Mm-hmm. Eyes, glasses. Mm-hmm. Anyone who is short-sighted, uh, you see now the person who has been already diagnosed that he's short-sighted and he has a rehabilitation uh, device, that is glasses. Mm. So automatically, when you remove your glasses, you won't see well because you'll have removed what makes you see well. So you shouldn't be worried. Mm -hmm. It is normal, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's like when you're having a walking stick um, uh, crutches. Eh? You need to use it. You need to use it. That's right. As you answer, can I pick Kevin from Kangwari? He's been please, calling. Please, please. <laughs> Kevin, good evening. Good evening. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for calling just when we open the line. <laughs> yeah. What I'm is your question? From, I'm coming from Kawangware. Yes, sir. I have a question. I have a problem with my eyes. Uh -huh. uh, sometimes when, when there's a high amount of white, I can't be able to see clearly. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, we yes we're listening to you. I can't be able to see clearly. And also, mm -hmm. I see some time like I can have dust in my eyes. Okay. That is a problem. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hey, mm -hmm. it's the same question you're answering, exactly. and I think both of you will pick on it. I've had this, I feel like there's dust in my eyes. I feel like there's dust in my eyes. Uh -huh. So you find dust, 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 dust. Those just part of uh, the sign, I mean, the symptom. Signs Are they symptom. real particles you feel, or it's, it's it is, just it is. what you can relate to? It is, it okay. is, it is, it is. So you find that uh, this, especially when it is so dusty, so there's actually there's what we call follicles. Mm -hmm. um, in the eyes. Mm -hmm. So these are small need nodules like pimples mm -hmm. huh? that when they are aggravate they are always aggravated by exposure to dust, F uh, smoke and wind. There's so many things that causes those things to be active. Mm -hmm. So you find when they are that active, they produces some acidic like um, a basic like substance. Mm -hmm. 
in the eyes. Mm -hmm. So this causes a burning sensation. Mm -hmm. And when this person now tries to rub the eyes, because of the dust and everything, and because of those nodules like things on the, let me say, the tassel. The tassel is on the conjunctiva. Mm -hmm. The conjunct um, the, not the conjunctiva, it is on the upper eyelid, mm -hmm. either upper or the lower eyelid. Mm -hmm. So you find this person, when terms, uh, it, it, it tries to scratch, um, uh, the eyes are becoming itchy, those uh, rushes like things, they, they, they disguise as dust. Okay. So you find when this person tries to, to scratch the eyes, mm -hmm. he feels like there is some uh, um, uh, dust particles in the eyes. Mm -hmm. But um, all in all is more of allergy. Okay. Nothing much. Okay. Then there's this what you call uh, the light. Mm, light, when person has an uh, issue with light, mm -hmm. medically we diagnose that as photophobia. Now this is uh, light phobia. Yes. Yes. So this person, we always prefer prescribing um, something that can control yes. the light. We call it photochromatic. Okay. Light as we is. pick up the next call and as you continue, thank you so much for calling. Dr. you're coming to how can we improve vision for someone who has suffered with glaucoma and has seriously low vision. That's Opanda in Kajiado. So we're coming to answer that as we pick up this call. Good That's evening. Good, good evening and thank you for calling Health Check. Habari ya madaktari. Ay mzuri sana. Eh, nimerudi tena na kifujo. Haya, ni Andrew. Andrew, yeah. Eh, ni yeye, ni yeye tu. Yes, Andrew. Na. Eh. Kuna hii mtu anaweza tumia hydrocortisone for a long time. Ai, ya macho hii mtu anaweza tumia for a long time kuna side effect yote. Okay, utajibiwa hilo swali? Haya. Haya, asante sana. Salamia watu, salamia watu hapo. Asante. <laughs> anyway, thank you. We're going to be answering that as we pick up on that. Maybe another call before we get to the questions. Our number is right below the screen. We're picking your calls live. Maybe just about two more calls. Tabitha in Yahururu. I have already been in the uh, Yes, Asati. Tabitha. Yes. Ukohewani sasa. Karibu sana. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm very fine, thank you. Thank you for calling Health Check. What is your question, Tabitha? I wanted to get a clarification on the eating of the eyes. I saw my theory on some particles in my ear for Jitro. Yes. So I wanted to get a clarification. Here you see, I eat here, what happens? Okay. And the Cornelia is there. I use my spectacles where I'm okay. Uh-huh. Good. So I wanted to get As the is, uh, from teachers now in ten. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. We're going to respond to that and thank you for watching Hope TV in Yahururu. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Mwanzia is the last call because we have so much and we have so many texts as well. Mwanzia. Okay, our caller is there. So we do have space for the last caller. And Dr. Is, uh, allow me to interrupt you sure. when we have the last caller. Sure, sure. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now, for Andrew. Can we, we yeah, we'll start from Andrew, but we had that one question mm -hmm. uh, for you, Dr. Glaucoma. Mm -hmm. Yes, on, on, yes, one asking, yes. Uh, that's Opanda in Kajiado said, mm. are, the, are there lenses that can improve vision for someone who has suffered from glaucoma and has seriously low vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we start with that one? Yes, sir. Oh, sure. Uh, that's a good question, and uh, it brings to, it, it, it confirms what we're talking about, mm -hmm. about glaucoma, that it can really reduce somebody's vision, and mm -hmm. it can also damage the vision forever. Mm -hmm. But there is hope also for people who have a poor vision, mm -hmm. They're not the ones who have lost the vision completely, mm -hmm. are the ones who have severely reduced, uh, who have reduced vision, there is an extent which they can be helped with what we call low vision devices. So they need to be assessed. Not everybody who has low vision can be assisted with those devices. Okay. But there are devices that can be used to, for people with low vision to see better or even to be able to read. Okay. 
And uh, there are many ways. You can also mix uh, low vision devices with uh, some computer programs and everything to make their life more comfortable. Right. So they need to be assessed by what we call a low vision specialist. Okay. They assess whether this vision can be enhanced a little bit with the devices and their life can be more comfortable. As to our last caller is on hold. Good evening. Uh, good evening. What's your name and where are you watching from? Okay, my name is Peter. Yes, where are you? Yeah, and I'm um, calling from Udiru, Kembu. Thank you, sir. What is your question? Yeah, okay, my question is, mm -hmm. yeah, some things back I went and visited uh, an ophthalmologist. Yes. And uh, they checked my eyes and uh, they recommended that I get some steps, and uh, especially because of the light. I'm usually too much on the computers. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, but then I realized I might have the effect on, but uh, again, at night, the eyes will still ache. Mm -hmm. And especially, and also have headaches. So I don't know exactly whether the effects are of uh, health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the reason why I got them is I, I thought that they would help me at least uh, to reduce the headaches. But then I realized during the day it's okay, but then at night, I usually have headaches. Mm. Any question you have yeah. for him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much, Peter, and thank you for watching Hope TV. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, we're answering you right now. <sighs> to go find one lap. <laughs> Do you want to respond to that? You have like 300 questions. You can just pick on each one. And remember, we did, did we tell our friend here whether to wash eyes with water or with eye drops? Did we answer him? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they missed that one. Yes, we please. Missed. Now, I assist, uh, sorry. Uh -huh. I mean... Um, for the last caller, mm -hmm. who has said that uh, he went and visited the ophthalmologist and uh, he was advised to have glasses mm -hmm. for computer, mm -hmm. uh, but n nothing is assisting. Even at now he's like, I thought this was sorted, but at night as well, mm -hmm. it's happening. Now, you find it depends which type of lenses this person was prescribed. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, as the, you see, the world of glasses, mm -hmm. We have different brands and uh, many uses of glasses. Mm -hmm. And for him, he's being exposed to radiation a lot. Yes. And any glasses that cannot prevent those radiation mm -hmm. won't assist to have, so, uh, won't solve the, 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 the whatever he's complaining okay. of. Now you find these glasses, we call them transitional mirror. Those are just glasses mm -hmm. for light. We call them uh, anti glare thing. Mm -hmm. Those, they cut specific type of radiation. Mm -hmm. But we have other better ones. We call them blue, uh, blue blocks. Mm -hmm. Now, those ones are the ones that tend to cut whatever is being emitted from those computers, laptop, and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'll advise my friend to go confirm which type of lens he's been prescribed. Yes. Yes, that specification. Okay. Leave alone just glasses. Mm -hmm. If he has been prescribed transition in others photochromatic with anti glare but not blue block, yes. he still suffer from the same thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. That is a great response. There's another question you'll come to, but we can alternate with you. Dr. Ari, mm -hmm. what of the million questions <laughs> are you going to respond to? Well, uh, I learned something to him. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, again, uh, glasses sometimes are not the solution to everything. Mm -hmm. you'll, you'll notice that most of these people who have sensitivity to light, the, the, most of them have an underlying condition. Mm -hmm. Commonly, we know allergies also. Yes. So those patients, uh, they need also to be, uh, even if they wear the glasses, they might still continue having the symptoms mm -hmm. if you don't treat the underlying, the allergy itself. So that's the other thing that you should also check. You should go and then ask after the ophthalmologist, yeah. look whether, the, is there any other underlying problem? Yeah. Because sometimes light sensitivity is not just light sensitivity. Mm -hmm. There are so many conditions that, ca so many things that can happen to the eye, sure. especially inflammation. Yeah. Light sensitivity is, in most cases, a sign of inflammation. Mm -hmm. And the commonest inflammation, as I said, it's allergy. Yeah. There are other inflammation, autoimmune conditions mm -hmm. that can come with light sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So it's very important, if this is not being sorted by the glasses, they need to see the doctor to see whether there is another underlying problem. Yes. The other con person uh, was asking, uh, is it Andrew, about hydrocortisone? Yes. Yeah, uh, hydrocortisone is a steroid which uh, many people with allergies are prescribed mm -hmm. uh, to. And as you said, uh, 
allergies are recurrent or chronic. Mm -hmm. or they could be there almost throughout. Mm -hmm. So people who are using steroids for long, they might start getting some side effects from the steroids. Mm -hmm. So it is not, but the problem with them is that once they are prescribed, they drop once and they put and it works. Mm -hmm. Next time, most people don't go back to the doctor. Mm -hmm. They go to the pharmacy like, ah, and say, I know, give, me this, I know that what, yes. give me this medicine is the one which works for me. Yes, and you'll find yes, somebody yes. has used it for 10 years, but side effects starts coming in wow. and they come and, and then they develop other problems. Yes. So it's always good to go and even if you know it's an allergy, and there is a drop which works worked for you. Yeah. It's always good to go back for consultation okay, and ask the, the doctor for for the, the best uh, treatment absolutely. for that condition. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Dr. the one is just asking here, even as we wrap up with three minutes to go, mm -hmm. uh, Dr. my eyes are always red and when it's sunny and also I don't see far. What could be the problem? I also have headaches. That's Grace in Muranga. Mm -hmm. Thank you for texting in. Richard in Kilipi is asking, my eyes get dry at night when sleeping. What could be the problem? So those two, and then as we give our closing <coughs> remarks on this, I mean, we haven't even been able to go to how to train our eyes. Exactly. So you guys have to come back. Okay. But let's go to those two. Now, Grace, as long as you have anything relating to your vision and you realize that it is trying to infringe your safety yeah. and your comfortability, go have your eyes checked. Check. Okay. And again, you've said that you're not able to see far. Mm -hmm. And then that means that you either you are uh, myopic, mm -hmm. that is short-sightedness, yes. or either hyper, mm -hmm. depending on the, the whatever will be diagnosed, or even astigmatism. Yes. So better have that eye checked okay. so that we can resolve it in the best way that's great get mm -hmm. checked for mm -hmm. richard richard was asking what richard was asking his eyes get dry at night when sleeping what could be the problem mm -hmm. dryness that is as long as you mention dry eyes at night then have the eyes checked first yes they have your eyes checked then allow, allow the eyes to be checked see an mm -hmm. optimal an optometrist <laughs> see an optometrist mm -hmm. see an ophthalmologist mm -hmm. get your eyes Check Tafadali. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I would say the same thing. Uh -huh. uh, if you are not seen very well, mm -hmm. chances are that you have, as he said, chances are that you have a simple thing to manage, like short sightedness yes. or long sightedness. Uh -huh. But there's a possibility also mm -hmm. uh, that it is could it could be another problem which is is, is irreversible mm -hmm. in that case. Mm -hmm. So if you are not, if you have noticed some poor vision. Don't relax before you know the cause. Okay. Because you, if you assume it is something we just walk in and uh, there are some people come like that. Mm -hmm. They just come and say, I don't see very well, mm -hmm. hoping that immediately I'll put them glasses and they see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even as we pray for that. Yeah. But once you put, start putting lenses, they cannot see. They can. Then we look inside, then we we'll find other problems. Mm -hmm. wow. So before you sit down, just first of all know what is the cause of my blurring of vision? Okay. If you know that, and you know it's a, it's a minor thing, there's no matter thing to worry, mm -hmm. then you can realize, even if you don't like glass, there are so many people who just with little yeah. vision, but they don't like glasses. But they already know that I am short-sighted, and I don't have glasses. That is okay, because you already know what your problem is. Yes. But if you have poor vision, and you don't know why you have poor vision, then you are risking a lot. We need to wind up this episode. I mean, there's so much talk about eyes, including this is a yes or no. Sure. Carrots. Do we need to eat more carrots for our <laughs> eyes? <laughs> anyway, let me just give you a minute to give yeah. our closing remarks, <laughs> even as we wrap up. Let's start with you, uh, our optometrist, uh, Dr. Aura. Eating carrots, we get what you call carotin. That is the, the, the most thing that you, you get from carrot. Huh. But uh, it's a very small thing that we get from it. Okay. So I want eating is you just eat. It's Let me okay. say eat. It's okay. That was mm -hmm. that's a light note. What is your closing <laughs> remark? Uh -huh. As you wrap up in mark, just yes. a minute, a minute, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a minute. Uh -huh. Now we we are we are in an environment whereby the eye is very important. Yes. As we had said earlier, mm -hmm. the eye is the window of everything. Yes. When you wake up and you don't see automatically you have to scream. You mm -hmm. have to scream you're like, why am I not seeing? Yes. So let's take up, let's take care of our eyes. Yes. Let's try to invest more in your eyes. Mm -hmm. And in case there's anything that tends to bother you about your eyes, seek that medical, medical advice. advice. Thank you so much for that. And mm -hmm. our ophthalmologist. Well, uh, I would say that uh, 
let's take care of our eyes. With the current uh, level of knowledge and yes. training, yes. we have so many trained people who mm -hmm. can take care of eyes to the highest levels that you can get. You don't have to leave this country to get proper treatment for mm -hmm. eyes. And the technology that has come to pick diseases when they are very, very early. Mm -hmm. These conditions we're talking about, keratoconus, glaucoma, uh, cataracts. Mm -hmm. Those are conditions nowadays that you're picking even before you notice any blurring of vision. Mm -hmm. With the current uh, technology, artificial intelligence, we are able to pick blinding conditions before you even notice any slight change of vision. Wow. So the people should take advantage of that. Mm -hmm make use of us specialists mm -hmm. because we are here and we are able to do those things and prevent blindness. Let's not try to treat it. That's true. Prevention is better than cure. WHO's year of making sure that we eradicate what? Preventable blindness was 2020 blindness. but, <laughs> but <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> well, won't you let us prosper? But it is well. We will figure that out. Thank you so much for watching Health Check. Thank you, Dr. Tari, so much mm. for your time, both of you, Thank for you. just coming uh, out and being here with us. On Health Check, we talk about all areas of our bodies, even as we check on our spiritual health as you continue to watch Hope TV, where you look and live. My name is Kerry Kagiri. This episode is up on YouTube. It is up on Facebook. You can go ahead and share it, rewatch it. If there's something you missed out on, triple two three two is our text line. I want to thank Pro Luxury Hair for this look. It's popping. I'll see you <laughs> very soon right here on Hope TV, where you look and live. Tonio Mundi and our Newswatch team is on standby to give you all the information at exactly nine in the p.m. Until next time, thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.